Hi, Tamal. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, Ishan. You've been quite entwined with the RBI over the years. And this week's column focuses on the RBI governor and his four years in office. You draw similarities and differences with the past governors. What has been the marked feature of Mr. Das's term? You know, there were a lot of apprehensions when he came because uh, the past two governors had, did not have uh, the right kind of relationship, if I may say so, with the, with the government. Raghuram Rajan had a three-year stint and he is the, probably the only governor who announced his departure much in advance. And his successor, Dr. Urjit Patel, did not even complete his full term, right? So he is a governor, and uh, this governor was also the person behind uh, the inter demonetization drive. So he's perceived to be a government man. He is his own man. That's what he has proved himself. It does a craze for cryptocurrency, and government stance was pretty ambivalent. But here is a governor who put his foot down. He said, "No, nothing doing. I mean, uh, we will not allow crypto because it, it's 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 a threat to the uh, financial sector stability." Uh, and he got it done. Uh, so here is a governor who, who, who can keep everybody happy in some sense, uh, who, who listens to all, but takes his own call. And I'll give you one anecdote, which Dr. Reddy said, you know, it was a live event, Dr. Reddy's book launch, and governor was the, uh, was the chief guest in Mumbai. Uh, Dr. Reddy talk, was talking about uh, different kind of bureaucrats and people. And he's, uh, he said that, you know, there are a sort of people uh, to whom you come with some proposal, they say yes to it, but you leave that person's room not so happy because the, the way the person said yes. And then there are bureaucrats, you come with a proposal, he said no to it, the bureaucrat, but you come out with their room with a lot of happiness because the way they say no. To it. And then he looked at, uh, looked at this governor who was sitting on the front row after his keynote address in the speech. So he is that type. He is a trapeze artist. He knows how to keep people happy. And he has never compromised um, the, I would say, the autonomy of Reserve Bank of India. You talked about the previous two governors. And from what I can remember, Mr. Rajan would be remembered for his AQR reforms. Dr. Patel would be remembered for his MPC reforms. What is Mr. Das's marked moment there? Mr. Das has handled, handled it with care, handled it with precision, handled it with clinical precision. So, uh, waving through the COVID uh, pandemic and then fighting inflation, well, he was a bit slow in, in reacting to it in the beginning. That, the, that, that's the one can find fault with him. But then he came back uh, with with ferocity to fight it out. And even when we speak, he said that fight and inflation is not over, rightly so. So in that sense, um, Raghuram Rajan came when our current account deficit was historic high, inflation yeah. was very high. So he fought, the, he, he managed them and then he started cleaning up the banking system. Yeah. Um, his job, which was not complete, was, was taken forward by his predecessor, by his successor, Urjit Patel, and also Urjit Patel made it an inflation target at uh, Central Bank. Uh, current governor's talk was very different. First, the COVID, which we do not know whether it is over as yet. Yeah. And then, of course, the fight against Because you talk about his nimble-footed act, and the rates as well. What do you perceive is the challenge for him given that Fed and BOE have raised rates by 50 basis point? Definitely, I think we are not yet through with the, with the rate hiking cycle. I think I, I would like to believe there will be yet another rate hike in February. Um, if at all there is a pause after that, or we need to watch and wait and watch. But certainly, uh, we can't rule out at least 25 bips rate hike from now. From now on, from the current level. So the fight against inflation is not over as yet, and he will take it forward to its logical end. But we have elections in a year. One of the key preferences from the government during this time would be to maintain growth. 
whereas RBI's mandate is inflation. Can he balance the two? Yes, of course. I mean, uh, RBI now is an inflation target as a bank, unlike earlier when it, it had the multiple tasks. And in election time, uh, certainly the focus will be on growth. He's aware of that. So, which is why I would like to believe that uh, the kind of rate hike which needs to be done, he will be quick in doing that. So we need to see when the cycle ends, when he, he, when does he press the pause button, and during the rest of his regime, that's two years, whether there will be any rate cut, and if that, uh, when, that's a big question. Will we see it in the next year, calendar year 2023? I'm not very sure. But for the time being, I think the, the key takeaway uh, from his tenure in the last four years, if you ask me how to look, it, how to look forward, he will not give up fight against inflation. Thank you. Thanks a lot. From what I understand, all that remains to be seen is if he can say no to the government and yet keep it happy. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Thank you. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will achieve. Trusted Bank, SBI, SBI the banker SBI. to every Indian.